Welcome to this 350 calorie burner hit workout to burn body fat, build muscle, and increase your fitness and conditioning using exercises with dumbbells and body weight. But remember, calorie burning is an incredibly individual thing based on your intensity and many other things, but I am gonna keep doing this workout until I complete 350 calories. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, let's get started. In the warm up, come to jogging on the spot. Next few minutes, just warming up the body, stretching, mobilizing, getting ready for this tough workout. So we're gonna go for 15 exercises in a circuit of 45 seconds work, 15 seconds rest, times two for 30 minutes, and then whatever time left over after that to get the calorie burn, we're gonna do an AMRAP circuit to finish. Take it into a walking knee hug, balance on one leg, hug the other knee up, stretch, balance, and when you're ready, switch legs in your own time. Come down onto the ground into a climber stretch position. One foot up, outside your hand. Release the same side hand and rotate. Open the upper body, drop the elbow down, stay on one side for 30 seconds and then switch. Drop the elbow and then open up, look up. Step back and switch, same on the other side. Take nice deep breaths. Activate in the legs, hips, upper body. Okay, walk the hands back into a deep squat position, stretching through the hips, and when you're ready, into a hamstring stretch, and then sit back down into the deep squat. Move slowly between these two positions, warming up the legs. Few more seconds. Okay, come back up, back into the jog where we started for the final 30 seconds. Hopefully you're warming up. Don't worry, the calorie burn has already started from the beginning of the warm up. I'm using my Whoop strap and the Whoop app to track it, so I'll keep you updated as we go. And remember that different uh, fitness technologies and watches and straps monitor heart rate and uh, calorie burn very differently so this is all an estimate so stop there and comment below at the end of the workout what calorie burn you get to let's start in 45 seconds work 15 seconds rest exercise one we're going into that run but sprinting hard are you ready three two one here we go increase the intensity of that run now faster arms faster legs 45 seconds work. This is exercise one out of 15. Let's do it. So make sure you have your dumbbells with you, hopefully a variety of weights. If it's just one set, then that's okay. I'll help you make adjustments when needed. Five seconds. Okay, dumbbell ground to overhead. So we're gonna be taking two dumbbells between the legs, then driving above the head. Ground to overhead with a good squat. If you only have, let's go. If you only have one dumbbell, 
or you need to reduce the weight, then you can go to one arm at a time. Up to you. We're in. If you can't reach the ground, then just here, a hanging position, then ground to overhead. Good technique in the squat. Use the legs to drive the dumbbells above head. Less than 10 seconds. Rest there, well done. We're gonna take it to a push up, walk out. So walk out position to the push up, walk it back and then repeat. Are you ready? Let's go. Stand up tall, go again. So these exercises have a variety of resistance and conditioning as a part of them, but they're all designed to get the heart rate up and get a good calorie burn. Fifteen seconds, keep going. You can drop the knees in the push-up if you need to. Well done, rest there. Let's take it to a jumping jack. Okay, 46 calories burnt. Good news, right? Let's go, jumping jack. Pick up the speed if you can. Breathe, keep pushing, 20 seconds. Well done, rest there. Dumbbell devil's press. Two dumbbells needed, it's like a burpee. Take the dumbbells down, drop between the dumbbells, jump it up, drive the dumbbells above head. Let's go. You can do half a burpee to here if you want, but then use squat and a swing to drive the dumbbells up. Find your technique, stay safe, strong, effective. You can take the dumbbells in the legs here and then above or you can take the dumbbells outside the legs. Up to you. Five seconds. Well done. Gonna take it into a squat kick. Squat position, kick one leg, squat, other leg. Let's go. Good quality squat. Nice and low if you can. Feet flat on the ground. Test your flexibility and your range. Kick up however high feels good for you. Twelve seconds. Okay, dumbbell single arm snatch. So one arm at a time, 
between the legs, floor to overhead. Snatch, meaning one movement all the way up from the floor, through the hips, through the body, upper body. One arm at a time, here we go. Touch the floor if you can, but if not, then just hang here and then snatch it up. Finish with your arm fully extended and straight. 10 seconds. Good, rest there, same on the other side. Get ready, other arm, same exercise. Here we go. Breathe, push. You should feel your heart rate now picking up nicely. That's gonna increase your calorie burn and of course your fitness, endurance. Stamina. 15 seconds. Good, well done. Dumbbell down. Let's take it to a forward lunge, both sides. Forward lunge, step back, switch. Good quality technique, but when you're ready, start picking up the speed a little bit, not rushing, but making sure you're going fast enough to get the calorie burning up, keeping the heart rate up, but good work on the legs. Keep going, see if you can get that back knee to tap the floor softly. 10 seconds. Well done, down we go onto the ground, into a shoulder tap and jack in the legs. So high plank position, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Join me. One, two, three, four. Legs. One, two, three, four. Repeat in your own time. Twenty seconds, keep going. Well done, rest there, get ready for dumbbell thruster. We are at 155 calories already. Absolutely smashing it. I'm getting my heart rate up quite high. Thruster, two dumbbells up into the shoulders, squat position, squat. Thruster in the upper body. Here we go. One movement from the legs through to the body and press.
10 seconds, strong shoulders. Good, well done. Dumbbells down, ready for burpee side jump. Perform one burpee, half burpee or full burpee. Jump to the side, repeat, and jump back. In two, one, let's go, burpee. Start a jump, repeat. So I've created the circuit, but if we get to the calorie amount before the circuit is complete, then that's fine. The circuit would have done its purpose. Ten seconds. Well done, rest there. Burpees complete. Let's take it into a dumbbell jump jack press. We need light dumbbells if you have them. If not, just grab one of the heavier ones. Jump jack the legs, press the upper body. Let's go. Be a bit more gentle and careful in this one. Now that you're loading it with heavier weight, if it gets too hard, drop the dumbbells, press the arms in a standard jump jack. Keep it going. Almost there. And rest, well done. Taking it into a kick through. The first 15, 15 exercises almost complete. All fours, knees off the ground, open kick. Back to the middle, let's go. Kick through to the other side. You can do it slow and controlled, or to get the heart rate up more, pick up the speed. Twenty seconds left. <laughs> Rest there. Up you come. Exercise fifteen. High knees. Are you ready? Let's go. Run, knees up. Nice and soft on the toes, ankles, but knees up. Use the arms. Twenty seconds left. Knees up, knees up. 10 seconds. And rest there, well done. Take a slightly longer break, have a breather, have a drink. 30 seconds before we start round two, okay? I've already done 227 calories. We're making epic progress. Only 100, 120 to go. Have a breather, have a drink. We start that circuit again from the top.
Okay, are you ready? In 10 seconds, we'll start with running, like we did. Exercise one. You know the exercises we have ahead. Three, two, one, let's go. Here we go, we're into running. You know which exercises are coming. Adjust the weights if you need to. Make any adjustments. We're gonna see whether we can get through this second round or whether we get 350 before the end of the circuit. Seven, six, Rest there, 15 seconds. Dumbbell, ground to overhead. Good squat, chest up, touch the ground. Explosive up above the head. Let's go. Fifteen seconds. <sighs> well done. Dumbbells down. Get ready for your walkout push up. Walk out, good push up. Let's go. If the push up's too tough, drop the knees on the floor, push up. Knees up, walk back. Twenty seconds left. Three, two, one. Good, get ready for your jumping jack. 260 calories. Jumping jack, let's go. So many of you might have heard the science about how many calories burns one gram, one pound, sorry, one pound of fat. It's a very estimated number, but they say 3,500 calories can burn one pound of fat. So, today's workout burns 350. If you do this workout 10 times, you'll burn away one pound of fat. It's a very estimated generalized number, but it's a good guideline. And rest, well done, let's take it to the devil's press. So remember this one, options of where the dumbbells swing, I personally prefer. Hands narrow, let's go. And then the dumbbells swing under the body for a good quality press. Always safe. In the back, use strong legs and glutes. Ten. 
10 seconds. Good, epic work. Moving on to the squat kick. This is a nice variation of some dumbbells, some body weight. You're doing awesome. Stay with me, squat kick. Squat, one leg, push. Here we go. Keep up the intensity or you won't reach the calorie burn you're looking for. Twenty seconds left. Ten. Yes. Breathe. Even though we want the heart rate up, use this time to recover the best you can. Let's take it into the, du the dumbbell, single arm snatch. One arm, let's go. I've upped the weights in these ones and the ground to overhead. A bit more muscular and it will increase the intensity for me too. Keep pushing, technique, driving up. Seven, six. And rest, breathe, other side. Let's go. Other arm. See what you got. Don't stop in this 45 seconds. Keep pushing. Ten seconds. Good. Rest. Forward lunge. Alternate legs. Three hundred and nineteen. Come on, we're so close now. Forward lunge. We're not going to get much further in this circuit. Let's see if we reach the end. Maybe not. Let's get to 350. We're at 320 now. Twenty seconds. All aligned in the knees, hips, ankles, strong legs. Glutes engaged as you push back. 10 seconds. Rest, well done. Let's take it to the, the, uh, the jack and the shoulder tap. 330. Four shoulder taps, four leg jacks. Let's go, one, two, three, four, jack. One, two, three, four, repeat. One, two, three, four, again. One, two, three, four, keep going. Keep your hips down, core engaged, strong technique.
and rest there. 340. This is it, okay? Dumbbell thruster, 10 calories for me. This might take us to the end of the workout. Maybe for you too. Are you ready? Let's go. Push it to the end. Keep the heart rate up. Keep the intensity. Keep the strength in the muscles. Focus on the technique to the end of the workout. Keep going, this is it. Final exercise for sure. And rest there. 350 calories. Well done, rest, breathe, recover, relax. Put the dumbbells to one side. Stay with me for a cool down. And you know, I program the workout and I make sure I've got too much than not enough, just in case, you know? And if we reach the calorie burn that you needed, 350 today, before the end, then that's fine. I can keep that end programming for when I do a 500 calorie burn. So stay with me for a couple of stretches, starting in a lying torso stretch. Come onto your back. Lay on your back, hug one knee in, pull that knee across your body, open up your arms. Drop that knee onto the floor. Focus on your breathing, your recovery. Your heart rate now coming down as we open up and increase the flexibility and recovery. Come back up into the middle, hug the other knee in. When you get a moment, I want you to comment underneath. How many calories did you burn within my 350? Was it more, was it less? Let me know. I'm not sure if you're using a, a fitness device to track it. If not, then don't worry. You know that I've guided you to around 350 calorie burn. Okay, lay on your side for a quad stretch. Hug one heel up to your bum, knees together. Ease the hips forward for a nice quad stretch. So what other calorie burner workouts would you like me to do? Comment that underneath as well. How many calories should we go for? 400, 500, 1000. <laughs> I'm gonna regret that, whatever you say. Switch over to the other side. And just to finish off this stretch, this cool down and this workout, I wanna mention that bulk, my supplements for, uh, for um, yeah, my sponsors for supplements and fitness foods have a massive Black Friday sale of up to 80% on lots of their products. I use bulk for my pre-workouts, intra-workouts, post-workouts, multivitamins, protein bars, they have it all. So if you are interested in their big Black Friday sale, their Bulk Friday, okay, come to a groin stretch here, then make sure you click the links in my description or comment underneath if you have any questions. Final few seconds here. Don't click off yet, final stretch. Five seconds, nice up tall. Feel the stretch in the groin. Take a nice deep breath and well done. That was an intense, fast paced workout. You made it to the end. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe so you don't miss my future workouts. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.